Hey everybody, it's Lee from Andersons here with Lee from PJD, double Hello. lead today. Um, it's an exciting day. So firstly, we're going to just talk for a minute or so just about PJD. If you've missed the video that we did about their guitars, go watch it. It'll be up there somewhere. But Lee, tell us a little bit about how long you've been going with PJD and what's yep. been happening recently. Yeah, absolutely. So been going since 2010 now, so quite a while. It is longer than um, I thought. Yeah. And these are kind of, well, we haven't got all of the models here. Um, the main ones are obviously, this is a Carey. We've got a St. John. And unfortunately, we've not got a Woodford. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> but watch this space. Um, so these are all hand built in yes. the UK? Yep. Um, you're designing now your own pickups, you've got uh, your own unique designs, your own um, luthiers and stuff. That's quite an impressive feat, isn't it? I mean, yeah, I guess, <laughs> I guess it is, yeah. The guitar we don't have on display today because we've basically sold out. And my personal favourite one in the range is the Woodford. Yes. Uh, and the Woodford is, you know, it's your S-Type inspired Absolutely, model. Yeah. Um, and when I first tried it, I had some ideas, some tweaks, some customizations, uh, if I may say so, that I wanted to make to the Woodford. And these guys were uh, good enough to say, yeah, we can do that. Absolutely. So we have a new, completely exclusive to Anderton's variant of the Woodford today. Yes. We went through about 500 different names for it last <laughs> week, trying to decide what was cool. Yeah. And you came up with the one. So what are we calling it? Yeah, we are calling it the Pioneer. The Woodford Pioneer. So anyway, we're going to do an unboxing, a speeded up unboxing. Um, have a quick look at some of the spec with Lee and yeah. then Pete and I will dive on over to the studio and plug one in. Cool. <laughs> oh, yes, baby. Oh, that is a cool looking Oh, smell. Oh, smell, smell the it? nitro. Smell the nitro. That's literally, oh, that's my new album. <laughs> smell the nitro. Uh, oh. 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 <laughs> I really like these kind of contemporary bursts. They're kind of cool, aren't they? With a oh, naughty, like dirty. Sorry. Oh, with a metallic burst as well. That's cool. Oh, oh, wow. 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 This was this is the one I thought looked best in the photos. That looks ace. Let me lift wow. it up for a little bit. Obviously, it's got the John Mayer no back guard. It's the most important thing ever. Look at that neck. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, that's, a that's like the coral yeah. kind of colour, isn't it? That's such a great look. That is a great colour. And Philemon. Oh, yeah, they're so good. Amaze balls. Amaze balls. Oh, right. Uh, nothing better than unboxing uh, your new favourite guitars. So let's just quickly tell you about the spec before we whiz into the yeah. studio. So um, I wanted to go lightweight because I think everybody agrees, you know, lightweight s tile guitars are more comfy to Absolutely. sort of stand with for any period of time. So we've gone with a Swamp Ash body. Yep. Um, we used the cream tea pickups, which are the sort of the in-house pickups that you make Absolutely, there, but yeah. uh, sort of talked back and forth about how to get that kind of uh, vintage sort of 61, 62 sort of style single coil pickup, but then with a slightly sort of hotter but sympathetic kind of humbucker. Um, I really like the trend system. And it's, you, yeah. I, I sort of said to you, I tried various sort of vintage, but sort of with a contemporary twist, trem systems, and you went through a load. So tell us what it was that you, 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 you decided to use and why on this one. So that's, this is the Woodtone uh, trem. It's a guy that 
builds them in relatively small numbers in Wales and it's just a really simple kind of design but it's it's different from say like a gotar or something obviously yeah. this this backstop here yeah. um, but it just works so well um, it's probably one of the best um, trims of, of this style that I've that I've ever actually uh, used to be honest with you I'm excited. You don't see his trems on many guitars, don't, do you? No. So excited to find out about this. Uh, we've got a, you know, no um, no neck plate, just a, just like a chamfered off um, heel joint here. No, we d this is not a mistake, by the way. We intentionally said don't bother putting the back cover on it because it's just so much easier to, you know, if you're changing string tension and stuff like that, you want to be able to get to this um, without mucking around. Beautiful flame maple neck yep. uh roasted maple roasted maple yep oil finish on on the uh on the neck and on the front of the headstock it's gloss nitro two versions you've got a rosewood neck version or a rosewood fretboard sorry and a, and a maple board medium frets what, yep. what brand of frets did you use uh, in the end just car nickel silver uh 55090 if that means anything to anybody and, and like you say you've done a beautiful detail here gloss uh the front of the headstock yeah satin uh, everywhere else using real nitro as well so good uh all the nice smells <laughs> we've obviously intentionally gone for some more sort of contemporary bursts here goto uh, staggered tuners so again vintage vibe but with a sort of a modern twist so you don't need the string tree c shape kind of you know reasonably traditional neck carve the gun oil finish just mm. so pete and i are itching to go try one but thank you very much mr lee for coming down thank you very much um, for having me enjoy stay tuned So you saw them unboxed in the store. Now you've just heard Pete and I have our first little playthrough. Noodles. Um, I've grabbed a rosewood neck one. Pete has grabbed a maple neck one. Um, we kind That's of talked all about back, the. Honor. We talked about the spec with Lee um, back in the store. So we're really yeah. just talking about how they sound now and how they feel. Um, I guess feel-wise first. I'm just going to sort of hark back to this idea that what I wanted to try and do with PJD on this sort of Woodford variant was not do, like not make a guitar that Fender just yeah. make, you know. So yeah. everything was about choosing colours that might be a little bit more out there, um, doing a slightly more contemporary spec, certainly doing a more contemporary heel joint, yeah, yeah. that kind of vibe. So You can get up there. But it very much, I think, some of the things that I like on a, you know, normally speaking, if I pick up a guitar and I really like the neck, it's quite often got that sort of oil finished satin mm -hmm. Same. shape to Same. it. Uh, it's not shape, so finish to it. So that's Feel. kind of what we went to. Do you want to just do the, you do the yeah, big yeah, strummy yeah. strummy chords and just take strummy. us through. Yeah. So the, the, the pickup set in here uh, were, uh, it's made by uh, Cream Tea. So Cream Tea are kind of affiliated with uh, PJD. Um, the set is called a Dr. Wallace set. They were made 
designed for this guitar but now can be bought as a set if you want and it's trying to capture kind of I suppose a sort of a relatively low output set yeah. of single coils like a but not like 50s low output more sort of 60s early 60s kind yeah. of so still hopefully got a bit of bass in there and then just wind a humbucker to to go with it so you don't get this sense of when you go to the back pickup it launches into the stratosphere of something completely different it's just a fatter slightly hotter uh, variant yes um two tones and a volume control like you super would duper expect. easy yeah yes. um of course colors amazing Position four. It's got that quite S type uh, <laughs> yeah. snap. Mid position. Now why the why the why the Wallace? Where does that come from, Dr. Wallace? <laughs> Do I mean, the I gotta, get to position one, and I'll and, I'll and tell then you'll you. explain. Cause <laughs> I, I was really a cream tea. It, I, I'm like I'm like what's a scone? It, it's, a scone set. It's a scone. Is it scone a scone or, or a scone? scone? Does the jam come first, then the cream, or is it the cream? If you offer, order it from Amazon and then see which comes first, and then you know. That's nice and nappy. Feels it's good. Got that feels nice good. modern snap to it. That's it. it. That's mm. it. Okay, before I go on a, some bit of drive, why? <laughs> why, Dr. Wallace, Wallace? Why, Dr. Wallace? Uh, because you would think it would be like a cucumber sandwich or, it, or man, scones. It's uh, it's it's not going to make. It's not even funny to be honest with you. It's an in joke apparently at uh, PJD where uh, the sales guy uh, looks like Greg Wallace. So from, there's, from there's the British, Greg uh, Wallace on screen the, now from MasterChef. I like the bass, 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 bass. I like the buttery biscuit bass. I like the crunchy bass, nutty bass, buttery biscuit bass. MasterChef. Uh, and, oh, not Bake Off. Uh, oh my so, God. Yeah, not Bake Off. That's Paul Hollywood with the blue eyes, the piercing blue eyes. Yeah, like that like guitar this. there. Kind yes, of. that's Paul Hollywood Burst. Uh, that's a great, that's what we should call it. Hollywood Burst. <laughs> the Paul Burst. Yeah, so apparently the the, one of the guys at, uh, that uh, PJD Guitars looks like Greg Wallace. As such, and that's that. they've named a set of pickups after him. Holy so moly. Okay, so let's, uh, let's try this Dane. Why not? <laughs> I'm surprised your guitars aren't worn out up there. It's yeah, just, like... this, just this bit. <laughs> oh, it's completely worn out. It's, a, it's got a massive scallop in it. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why I have to play. <laughs> I have to play that. It's not my guitars, it's everybody else's guitars. Because I never play that riff on my own guitar. That's nice as well. Uh, put it into. With the yes, it smells nice as well. Oh, I'm now, doing it. Well, let's. <laughs> Whilst you're on that tremolo system, tremolo, I can't really take any credit for this whatsoever, other than when That's a fat um, old block. When Lee said, "What trem system do you want on yes. here?" I just went, "Could you just buy a few and see what you like?" So I know he he was trying. Uh, we had very traditional style, mm -hmm. you know, Fender style trems. We had uh, Goto style trems. Yep. We had uh, Callahan trems, wood Callahan. tone trems. Yeah. Um, this is wood tone, isn't it? Yes. Uh, and yeah. it was just like, 
just pick the one that you like the best. Yeah. And so he, I, I said, it's super smooth. And it's an interesting one because I'd, I'd have to maybe if the guys from Woodtone have watched this, uh, maybe they could explain kind of like what what is the purpose of this sort of back bar here that the saddles are screwed into. It's a big fat block, um, isn't it? It is a big trim block. I mean, and if it, you can see in the back there, that's. Good. I mean, it looks it, like a mil or two, maybe a mil thicker than than a fender, sort of standard fender. And it also it also sits on this tiny little piece of metal underneath there. I would expect to to get slightly better. Oh, I see. Can you see this a little? Yeah, I can. There's like you a know, little like, plate underneath the that the screws screw into. Yeah. yeah. Just to maybe make it roll a bit better. But maybe how does it? Is it smooth and? Yeah. The other thing, that, <laughs> a bit of Jeff Beck there. <laughs> in, a, in a way, I'm kind of, I suppose, Bending perhaps subliminally appealed. You know, a big part of this is to try and make a, a British guitar. You know, obviously the PJD guys are, are based in in the UK. Cream Tea, the pickups, mm -hmm. same place, built mm -hmm. in the UK. The fact that the trem system Wales. now is coming from Wales again, it's all keeping it in the family. It's made out of sheep. Um, it's, made, <laughs> <laughs> it's not. It's made by sheep. I thought no. it sounded a bit woolly. <laughs> <laughs> Reinforcing all of those Welsh stereotypes, but he's Danish, so he's allowed to. It's fine. It's nothing to do with me. Exactly. Um, <laughs> yeah. So yeah. nice sounding guitar, right? Yeah, yeah. Nice sounding feels, guitar. I mean, as, as every time I pick a, a PJD up, I'm always the the, the the fretwork and the neck. You know, all of that stuff. Yeah. It just feels great. The neck feels great. Nickel you know, silver frets. It I looks, thought you'd be a fan of that. Look at that. What's what's the general verdict, everybody, on uh, on the no uh, cover on the back? Because I mean, that was just a preference of mine. But of course, it's easy to change if someone. You and John's. On. Obviously, John stole it from me. Um, <laughs> I just think, and again, the colours wise, again, we can do anything we like with this range in terms yeah. of colours and stuff. But just to kick things off, I I kind of wanted finishes and bursts that maybe weren't. A little, they were a little bit traditional, but not yeah. like really traditional. Yeah. And I didn't, you know, I didn't want to go like crazy uh, contemporary colors. I think some of them have. I think this is these two are my favorites. I think it's amazing, really, isn't it? Because uh, the green one is personally for me my least favorite, and yeah. yet everyone else in the store said it's their favorite. Yeah. I'm going with uh, I like the gold one and the blue one. Yeah. Uh, and. The one that I don't think we've got here, but I liked that coral I was like coral on red. Ones. I yeah, really like that it, yeah. as well. The, the, uh, it, it, the, somebody was, will say, why not gold hardware on this? But, you know, maybe that'll come. Yeah, I actually, yeah, I don't actually know good. if Woodtone make a, a gold-plated trem system. They, but maybe they, they do. They'll have to. Um, so uh, we haven't talked about pricing. Gold sheep. Uh, so these are £2,999, including VAT. So kind of you know cheaper than a fender custom shop but you know in line with maybe you know if you looks like a top of the range ibanez or or uh, yeah. stuff like that so i think they're yeah, quite yeah. you know again they're not they're certainly not cheap or necessarily no, no, but know, affordable is a relative term but i think they're good value for what they are yeah, yeah. Uh, everyone comes with uh his cox case so a pjd uh, emblazoned his cox case it comes with a little PJD booklet, which shows you some of the other guitars they make in the range, but also at the back is your little personalised which serial number and uh, what are the specs I've been on to it. the factory. It's an amazing place. I didn't expect that at all. That's we'll, do a, we'll do a little... We should do a video up there. We should do. That is where I think, you know, I, think I said to Lee in the, in the, in the beginning bit, it's to, to go beginning. from... Um, a, a luthier that perhaps either entirely builds the guitar themselves or perhaps has one assistant yeah, yeah. very small yeah. but you know to, to someone that is i mean 30 people that's, that's a bit, that's big and yeah, they've yeah. got all the you know they've got all the mod con machinery up yeah, yeah. there and yeah. anyway yeah coffee machines and really lightweight so if you're Some interested in any of these the two things you need to do are either hop on over to the anderson's website where you will see them all individually photographed weighed spec you'll yeah. be able to talk to um one of the guys in the guitar gallery you can have a video call with them if you really want to um or of course come to the store do that old-fashioned thing of actually going shopping in real places uh and try one and compare it to you know what else 
2,999 yeah. pounds buys you. Because, like, you know, there's, you get plenty of guitars for that kind of dough and see whether or not this is your favorite. But yeah. they are, just to finish this video, um, and hopefully maybe we'll play out with something else. But yeah. this is an Anderton's exclusive range. So yeah, yeah. if you're on the if you're in Australia or someone else, you know, a zillion miles away from here, um, you can still buy one of these. Obviously, you've got to take a bit of a leap of faith and just choose one based on the, the, the information you see on the Internet. Uh, but uh, if you live outside the UK, we'll ship these with no VAT. Um, mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, the shipping, the is, moment, the shipping is less than you think. I mean, shipping to the States, I think, on a guitar is well under a hundred dollars um it feels, nice. it feels nice and yes there you are and Ain't i'm sure you know one of the one of the guys in the in the store one of the guys in the guitar gallery will gladly spend some time with you either over email or on a video call making sure that you choose the right one paul or paul um but yes everything is air shipped takes three or four days to arrive all fully insured and tracked and everything so don't panic if you can't get to guildford but you must have one of these guitars we can make it happen yeah Shall we, I'm going to uh, play out on that gold one. Well, I'm going to play out on the blue one. Beautiful. Thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Links are below for everything. And uh, we love you loads.